everyone! This is Julia from Craft Room Adventures for Sunny Studio Stamps, and I'm ha so happy you're joining me today. This time I have a fun custom sentiment birthday card to share with you, and if you would like to see how I did it, just keep watching. First, let's go over all of the products I'm using for this one. For my images, I'm using the Floating By stamp set for my big bunch of balloons, and then I'm using actually Christmas stamp set. It's called Alpaca Holiday, and I use this top little cutie, and also the stack of gifts, which in my, in my case are birthday gifts. And for my sentiment, I'm using birthday wishes from Candy Shop. Then for my dice, I'm using the Chloe Alphabet dice to create my little custom sentiment. Then I'm using the, uh, for the base of my scallop piece, I'm using the third largest of the stitched circles in the large size. And I'm using the Fancy Frame Circle, the second largest of those. And then I'm using the Comic Strip Everyday Dice for the tiny little clouds for my background. I stamped all of my images onto Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I'm using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers to color them in. First, I'm going in with like a pinky red shade, and it's the number 21. I just color three balloons in that color. The rest of my, uh, of the colors I picked will only have two balloons, but this one was my favorite, so <laughs> I just went ahead and added three balloons of those. Then I'm just using the colorless blender just to blend out the color. I'm just using a scratch piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock just to clean off my brush tip in between uh, moving on to other colors and to the lighter areas just so that I don't drag too much pigment around. Then I wanted some yellow balloons so I'm using the color 50. Just adding color to the areas that I wanted to want to be the darkest. Then I'm going over those to blend them out and then dragging a little bit of the color into the lighter areas to create some shading. Then I'm going in with a blue, and this is the color 32. Deciding which balloon to go with. <laughs> and again, the colorless blender. Just dragging the pigment out a little bit more, but I wanted the balloons to be fairly light. Just making sure I get a nice transition. I accidentally added a little bit, uh, I smudged a little bit of the uh, blue color into the red, or pinky red. Then I just added a little bit of the red shade and went over it with a colorless blender just to get a little bit of pigment on my brush and then I just went over that little smudged area and that helped it along. And for my final color, I'm using 33, which is a teal shade. And I just flip the image around and I'm going in with the same shades. So 21 for the pinky red. And I'm also adding this to the rim of the blanket on my adorable little alpaca. Blending that out with a colorless blender, and I didn't have quite enough pigment on those, so I'm going in with a second layer of the pink just to add a bit more color. Then I'm going in with the yellow, the number 50 for the bow on the bottom present. Then again with the blue shade, and the 33, the teal for the main part of the blanket and also the bottom present. And it was time to start coloring my little alpaca. I'm going in with number 64 just to add a little bit of shading. I just colored in the face and the muzzle, and then I added shading around the edges. And now I'm going in with 72, which is like a cream color, just to blend that out a little bit. I wanted 
more definition, so I'm just adding a bit more of the 64, then going in again with the 72, and then blending everything out with a colorless blender. Then I'm just picking up a little bit of the pink shade just to add to the insides of the ears. I also wanted to add some blush, but I realized that that was looking kind of off, so I just skipped that one. Then I die cut the fancy scalloped, the fancy framed circle four times out of white cardstock, and I just used uh, liquid glue to layer those for some dimension. I die cut a grassy panel. And I'm ink blending that with cracked pistachio and also evergreen bow, just for some grass. And I'm adding some splatters of the darkest shade as well, just for a little bit of texture. Actually, got quite a few big blobs on there, but since you can't see most of it, it's fine. <laughs> then I'm just going in with, with tumbled glass and salty ocean, which is just my favorite color combination for like a bright blue sky. And then for my custom sentiment, which currently spells Piper, uh, <laughs> because I had to run the die of the P through twice. Uh, I'm ink blending with the same colors just to get like a an ombre look on my letters. So my Piper sentiment. <laughs> and I also die cut the same Chloe alphabet letters with the with, uh, out of white fun foam. And now I'm just using liquid glue to layer those with the ink blended pieces just to create some dimension on those. Then I'm laying down my circle die cut first onto a white card base. And you'll see me changing that in a little bit. But let's just, <laughs> just go with this first. I just added my grassy hill, then my clouds, just to make sure that they would still be peeking out behind the images. I snipped off the bottom of the uh, balloon bundle because it was a little bit too long, as you can see. Then I'm adding in my circle, or my scalloped circle, which just adds a really nice framing. I accidentally shifted a little bit, so I had to pick it up and move it up. The glue was dry, so that went well. You know, sometimes things just go smoothly. <laughs> you know, it happens. It was fine. And except for you and me, nobody will ever know. Right? <laughs> then I'm just adding my sentiments, adding liquid glue to the back of the balloons. Added my little stack of presents, and I added foam squares to the back of my little, little guy, and I'm adding him to the center of the scene. Not quite sure if I wanted him a bit lower. And I realized that my background panel was just a little bit too simple for my liking, so I ran the piece of cardstock through the Quilted Hearts backdrop just to add some beautiful embossing details to the background, and I like that much better. Now I'm adhering the letters below my circle, and I'm just starting with the center letter of the word happy, just lining that, that up with the center of the circle, and then I'm just trying to, as evenly as I can while I, eyeballing it, uh, adding my letters. Then for the second part of my sentiment, I'm using the Candy Shop Birthday Wishes sentiment. I'm just heat embossing that in white, and the embossing powder I'm using is the Wow Opaque Bright White in the Super Fine version. Off to the side, my heat gun was already heating up, and I just went over it until the embossing powder was smooth and melted. And now I'm cutting down my sentiment strip. I'm using the uh, clear, like, grip guide on my uh, guillotine trimmer just to line up where I need to cut and that way I can always get like a nice even sentiment strip. And then I wanted to add some gel pen details to my balloons, just some little stars and dots. And that finishes off my card for today. I had such a good time making this and I love to make birthday cards. This came together super quickly. All in all, it took me about an hour. So for me, that's a really good time for a card. 
And I just love creating cards with custom sentiments where you can just, you can add names or, you know, any kind of holiday where you don't have a word die. I think alphabet dies are just so versatile for that. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope I'll see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye.